Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's problem is from Impulse and Momentum. So we have a uniform thread of some linear mass density and it passes through a fixed ideal pulley. Okay, and at its ends, the thread is stacked into two heaps as it's shown in the figure that do not interfere with the motion of the thread. A beetle of mass m tries to manage itself at a constant height on the thread by adjusting its speed relative to the thread. At some steady speed of the thread, the beetle succeeds in doing so. So we have to figure out this steady speed of the thread. So basically what this is a beetle is trying to do is it is trying to climb up, right? But the rope is going to come down. So in the ground frame, the beetle does not move up or down. Its height relative to the ground is fixed. And they've also mentioned in the question is that this happens at some steady speed. Steady essentially means constant, right? Okay, and if the rope speed is constant, then the relative speed with which the beetle climbs the rope is also constant. It means the net force on the beetle is zero meaning the beetle is not accelerating. So if I draw the beetle's FBD, it'll have its weight that acts downwards and the friction between its feet and the rope acting in the upward direction. And both of these have to be equal so as to make sure that the beetle is not accelerating. Okay, so now let's analyze what's happening with the rope. So this is what's happening with the rope. So it's, so it's moving with the speed of V, right? So the rope that is initially in this heap over here will start moving with the same speed V and the part of the rope moving on the left will come to rest after it falls on the heap. Okay, so now I'm taking my system as the yellow part of the rope. Okay, so the yellow part has a constant mass, right? Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm considering a very small mass dm uh, on either of its ends. And what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna analyze its change in momentum, okay? So basically this dm over here is about to gain the velocity v and this dm over here is about to lose the velocity v. So first I'm going to consider the dm on the right part, okay? So initially it had zero velocity and finally its velocity became equal to that of the moving rope. And this happens in a very short duration of time, let's say dt. So guys, obviously we have, to, if we want to change the momentum of any mass, then we have to, then obviously there must be some impulse or force acting on the mass, right? And in this case, it is clearly the tension force from the rope. Going from left to right, we can say that the impulse due to tension is nothing but the tension force multiplied by the time dt. And the final momentum is dmv, initial momentum is is zero we can write the change in momentum as dm multiplied by v so and from here we get the tension force directly above dm as v times dm by dt and here dm by dt is the rate at which dm mass enters our system now dm is the mass of the rope that enters our system in a time dt as the velocity of the rope is v in a time dt the rope moves up by an amount of v dt so the mass that enters the system is going to be the linear mass density times the length which is v dt and from here we can see that dm by dt is lambda times v so at this particular instant the tension force that is directly above the dm on the right comes out to be lambda v squared. So, okay, so now let's analyze the dm mass on the left. So this guy was initially moving with a velocity of v downwards and there was some tension that was acting on this guy. And now the thing is what happened was it hit the heap that was present on the ground and its velocity became zero. Okay, so now here the dm mass, it hits the heap and its momentum gets destroyed and its final velocity is zero. Now guys, the moment the mass hits the heap, the tension force directly above the dm mass becomes equal to zero. The impulsive force that destroys the momentum of this dm mass is actually the normal from the heap, which we don't really care about, right? Because again, our system under study is this particular part over here. So we are only interested at the tensile forces at, at these two points. We don't care about the force that the heap applies on the dm. Now let's get rid of this uh, these two dm masses. So we figured out the tensile force right above the dm mass on the right. So at this particular point, lambda v square will act in the downward direction. And for the dm on the left, we just figured out that the tension force will become equal to zero the moment the dm mass hits the heap. Okay, so now we have uh, the forces at the ends. So now from the discussion from the previous page guys, the friction force on the beetle act was acting in the upward direction. So the reaction force of this friction will act in the downward direction on our string. So the friction force is going to act something like this. Now guys, if we want the net force on our rope to be zero, then F has to be equal to lambda v squared. As the mass on the left part and the right part are both, both the same, the mg by two components cancel out. So we want F to be just equal to lambda v squared if we want to ensure that the rope's velocity is constant. Okay, so let's do that. So F, which is magnitude wise equal to mg of the beetle is equal to lambda v squared, which means v from here comes out to be square root of mg by lambda 
which after solving comes out to be 20 meter per second. So yeah, that was it for this problem, guys. If you enjoyed the video, do like, share and subscribe. And that's it. Thanks for watching.